see my swale is starting to take shape here. My three foot column of clean stone tapered away from the wall. My backfill tapered in here with positive gravity flow water. I'm going to double check that. Good. Got my water pitching in and out. How am I going to get it there? First, I'm going to wrap this area in geotextile fabric. Want to help me? Okay. Can we get someone on the outside here? Tuck that out. You got it? Right up against the back of the wall. Good. Okay, let's grab another piece. I want about an eight inch overlap. I want to tuck this under so the water flows over top. Bring this up, bring the slip up. Okay, here we go right through the center of the swale. Good, fold that over. Good. I'll walk this piece in. Let's get one more piece. Okay, over top. Good job. Now this will give me the ability once I install my low permeability clay fill, that water that's coming from the surface won't be able to penetrate that, will hit this swale and run off. I have about nine, nine and a half inches here, so I can put eight inches of low permeability clay fill, an inch of topsoil, that'll be mulched. All my annual and perennial plantings will be in here. This is gonna be great. Let's get that soil. Clay particles behind a wall? I must be crazy. But look at this material. Real dense, very low permeability. This will make a nice cap layer so that water doesn't permeate in and behind my wall. I'm standing on my low permeability clay fill here. Don't let its granular appearance, its friability fool you. Look at how that is so plastic, so cohesive, holding together. I've got to compact it. This is a difficult part of the project because my compactor has to be a light compactor, a non-reversible unit in and around this wall. It tends to stick. So I'll have somebody on the backup throwing a little bit of sand down. That'll help me keep it moving. And I might even need some help on top of that. foot column of clean stone capped with a geotextile fabric and an eight inch layer of low permeability clay fill. Water won't be able to permeate into that layer. It will pitch forward into this swale and run off. But what about this six inches here? Enough to grow something? No. You're not growing anything here. You're growing through this area. Let the canopy open up into the area. I can bring my topsoil layer up here. I'm gonna have about about 20, 21 inches of topsoil in here, plenty for root growth, plenty of positive flow of water. So even a non-water loving plant, I think will thrive in this environment. This looks great.